Hello everybody, my name is Chuckles, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to bobby do. Now both the discovery and the creation of the guide from IK, but while recording this video, I got different results, so I wanted to compile both of our guides into one video, so let's get into it. Whew, okay, start with station clip. If you don't know Station Clip, you should get familiar with it. Uh, you gotta do it twice to accomplish the glitch. Basically, you just wanna hit this sweet spot by nudging yourself in between the railing and this pole, and then jumping slightly forward to land in the glitchy spot. From the glitchy spot, jump and then press forward precisely after jumping to land on the other side of the fence. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to do the Station Clip, but basically it lets you get on the other side of the tram. And after you do the Station Clip, the next thing you want to do is lose Bobby in the tall grass right before the bridge that leads to the Water Elemental Temple. This happens naturally in the story and it's the first time we're going to lose Bobby and it's technically what starts the glitch to begin with. Alright, the next step we're going to take is we're going to go to the pipe by the Water Elemental Temple. Hop right in, this pipe's going to take you to the dried out lake which also leads to the dried out river, which is where we want to go for the next step. At the river's end, there is a cutscene, which gives us our second Bobby. On the way to the end of the river, there are some origami enemies that might give you a cutscene with an invisible Bobby, but it shouldn't affect the glitch overall. After this, you should have your second Bobby, but before that, I need to warn you, do not go visit Sombrero Guy where first Bobby is waiting for you. If you do... Instead, you're going to want to take Bobby to the bridge and lose him to the Paper Macho Goomba. After this cutscene, the Paper Macho Goomba is going to be blocking the way, so naturally you'd think we'd go over the bridge. But a crazy person's going to go back and do the Station Clip again. Ha ha! The reason we're doing Station Clip here again is because we need to despawn that Paper Macho Goomba that's blocking the bridge. We're not really sure why Station Clip does it, but just go with it because it gets rid of the Paper Macho Goomba and gets us to the next step. Heading back to the bridge, if the Paper Macho Goomba ain't there, walk past him and save the Fax Toad in the Autumn Valley Fax Station. Fax Travel is going to be really helpful later in the glitch, but right now we're kind of just going to ignore him. So just save him, ignore him, and head on out. Whew, alright, now the fun stuff starts. And by fun, I mean the fun stuff before the not fun stuff. So just kind of get through that. Go visit Sombrero Guy after denying the Fax Toad, and we're going to visit our invisible first Bobby. This is the one that got lost in the tall grass while we were on our way to the Water Elemental Temple after the first station clip. Now, if you're following IK's guide, which I was up to this point, it says go to the tram, take it to Overlook Mountain, go to Picnic Road, and then fax travel all the way to Autumn Mountain. But my tram didn't work. So, I'm gonna adjust the guide to say go to the tram and ask to go to Overlook Mountain. If it works, take the tram. If it doesn't, skip the step. So, if you're like me and your tram didn't work, now's the time to go back to the fax toad at Autumn Mountain. And finally, you're gonna wanna fax yourself to Picnic Road. If you took the tram to Overlook Mountain, just walk to Picnic Road and then fax yourself from Picnic Road to Autumn Mountain. If you do this, it will save the game. If you're positive that you failed to follow my instructions, then you should restart your game. Technically, up to this point, the game shouldn't have saved if you followed my instructions correctly. If you restart now, you may be able to reattempt this glitch, but after fax traveling or leaving via tram, you will not be able to try again. Whew, that was a mouthful, but I just wanted to make sure no one had to redo this whole game just to do the stupid glitch. Now that we fax traveled back, go to the Water of Elemental Temple with Bobby, and he'll wait outside for you until you've completed it. Opening the temple doors actually activates a trigger that opens the Chestnut Valley Gates, which is where our second Bobby is currently residing. So you can go visit him now, but you can't duplicate your Bobby at this point. You can only do it after you complete the Water of Elemental Temple. All right, now that you're done with the Water of Elemental Temple, Bobby will congratulate you. Not really, he's not gonna move at all. This Bobby's not going anywhere and he's probably gonna disappear. Uh, leave him here, and we're just going to head down to Chestnut Valley and go save Bobby number two. Mm -hmm. 
the game will still think you entered the Chestnut Valley area through the bridge entrance, so no music will be playing and all the chestnuts are still dropping. But everything still works as usual. This is the second Bobby that we just pulled out of the ground. So now just complete Chestnut Valley as usual, meet Bobby at the end, hit it with the hammer, bing bada boom, you know, all this good stuff. Once you got Bobby number two following you, leave Chestnut Valley and head to the save block outside the Water of Elemental Temple. Then, reset and reload. Once you reload, head back to Chestnut Valley with second Bobby and you'll find third Bobby. Where'd third Bobby come from? I don't freaking know, but here he is. Now, once you have two Bobbies in your party, you're going to want to save at the save block at Chestnut Valley. This is the only one in Chestnut Valley, and it's right before the slope where Bobby gets knocked into the tree. Save here, and then reset, and reload. Doing this resets the events in Chestnut Valley in your favor, which means that this cutscene that knocks Bobby into the tree will no longer be here. Ignore the music, this is a recreation, by the way. If you don't save and reload, then Bobby will still get knocked into the tree. Which really isn't our problem. Well, it is if you want to finish the dupe Bobby glitch. It's his problem because he's never going to get out of that tree. No matter how hard you whack. If you followed all of those directions correctly, saved at Chestnut Valley with your duplicate Bobby, reset, reloaded, and walked into Autumn Mountain, then you should have your duplicate Bobbies. Congratulations! From here, you can either continue the game or continue to do the glitch over and over again until you have any number of Bobbies. Just keep going. Infinite Bobbies! Hey, this is Chuckles again. Thank you all for watching. I kind of made this because we all laughed at that Nintendo Unity video that didn't credit any of the people who found the glitches, so I thought, hey, let's make good-looking glitch videos that showcase the people who found them. So thank you, IK, for finding Bobby Duping. Thank you, Pants, for helping me script this. And if you have a glitch that you need more instruction on, let us know and we might just make a tutorial. Thanks!